Hey everybody and welcome back to a brand new video. So I get a lot of questions about furniture modeling because a lot of you guys tend to sell 3D models online and furniture is an extremely popular topic. Uh, but in this case, we're gonna do a little twist. We're gonna do a desk, but it's gonna be a Star Wars desk, right? Here we go. Hey guys, well, we're in my 2019 and we're going to do a Star Wars uh, furniture piece today. Um, I got this as a request. How can I refuse a Star Wars request, right? Okay, so that said, let's get started. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to start with a uh, polygon a cylinder and we're going to go into the attribute editor, hit control A, and we're going to bring that down to five subdivisions like so. Uh, let me think. Mm, actually, six yeah we're gonna go with six then we're gonna go in we're gonna right click get a face we're gonna drag click the entire bottom get rid of that take this guy select it let's go to modify and center pivot so if we now hit w and hold on x we can snap it to the grid there you go all right then we're gonna jump to the top here and what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit r to scale this up like so and that would be, I would say, about right. And then maybe a little in this direction. That's about what I'm going for. Okay. So now that we have that, what we're going to do next is we're going to right click and go to face. We're going to hold down the tab key. So that's T A B, tab. Select all of these guys. Control E to extrude. And a very important, keep faces together. Turn that off. All right. Then we're going to tweak the offset. So we're going to go in and let's find something that's suitable for us. Uh, let's try 0 0.05. Pretty close. Uh, let's see, 0 0.06 maybe. Final offer, 0 0.07. I think that's what we're going to go with, right? So we're going to take these internal faces right there and we're going to delete them. Now, now that we have that, let's see uh, what we're going to do. We're going to extrude this guy. So we're going to right click, go to object mode, control E to extrude. Let's add some thickness to that. Let's do 0.05, maybe a bit more, 0.07, starting to become a theme almost. Yeah. So we have that. That's going to be one side. So we're going to take this guy. We're going to hit control E to, uh, not control E, sorry. We're going to hit E to rotate, hold on J, and we're going to snap, come on, let's play ball please, hold on J, and snap in intervals of 15 degrees, there you go, and then we're going to hit W, and we're going to raise that up, so that's going to be one side, uh, control D to duplicate, we'll create another side, which is going to be, I would say, something like this, right, okay, so we know that we're going to need a sphere in the middle. First, I'm going to take these two and go to mesh and uh, combine. Now the pivot's in the middle, so I can uh, hold down X and kind of snap that. So we now know that we're smack in the middle, All right? Okay, so next uh, we're going to take a sphere and I'm going to hit E to rotate, hold down J and flip it forward like so. And we're going to need to create an opening in there. So what I'm going to do for that is right click, go to face. And I'm going to click and shift, double click. To get that one, one row there, hit shift period to increase that selection. And let's see how far I want to go here. Uh, that would be about it. Okay, so let's delete that. There we go. And we're going to need that later on. So good, good. Uh, let's see if we hit three on this guy. Yeah, it looks perfect. There you go. And then what we need to do is we need to uh, create a section for the front there to close that up. Uh, so for that, what we'll do is we'll take a uh, torus. We'll let E to rotate again. Hold down J and flip it forward. W to move forward. And let's change that a little bit. Let's say we'll do a section radius of 0 
0 0.02 maybe yeah a little bit bigger than that 0 0.05 I think that's better okay so we got this guy we're gonna move this in we're gonna scale it down I have to frame that so we can kind of get in close and see what's going on that would be about right now the question is do we want that to be inside of that opening or just covering it and I'm gonna go with that let's smooth this guy out first mesh and smooth so it looks a bit better okay and we're gonna smooth this guy out too all right okay so I'm gonna duplicate this guy control D to duplicate W to move out R to scale down let's check it from the front Uh, I'm going to say that that looks okay. All right, cool. So now that we have that, we need to bring these guys together. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is select these two and go to mesh and uh, smooth to actually smooth them. And uh, this guy, I'm going to tweak a little bit. I'm going to W, bring it out and just slightly scale that just to cover that. Right. Okay, so this is going to be, I would say, somewhere around here. And we need to have uh, lines covering that gap there, right? So that's something we need to sort out. And uh, I think what I'm gonna do is just uh, simply take a uh, polygon cylinder. All right, we're gonna E to rotate, hold on J, flip it like so. Let's go in here. Set caps to zero. So I can go in here, go to face, delete that face, and get the one on the back there. Come on. Let's come over here, please. Yeah, thank you. All right. So we have that. Then we're going to go back in. We're going to eat a rotate again. We're going to set it upright. We're going to hit R. We're going to scale it down a whole bit. W to move that in, F to frame, let's see, I want to see it from this view. Okay, so this guy needs to be on top of this guy right there, but of course much, much smaller. F to frame that. So that would be about right. Okay, let's have a look. Let's bring that up. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to push that up a little bit. I'm going to go to Injured Edge Loop, Option Box. Uh, let's do equal M. Okay, hey guys, well, it's time for a little sponsor break here. And with that, I can make any of these videos for you guys. So show them some love, right? And you actually might love this one. So if you need 3D models for a lifelike visualization that you're working on, you might want to check out Render People. They offer 3D posed, 3D rigged, and even 3D animated people models, right? And they have over 3,000 products right now. They cover uh, models suitable for business, shopping, sports, swimwear, evening wear, outdoor, and even specialty models like doctors, workers, and whatnot, right? So uh, they're high resolution, 8K maps, clean UVs, clean meshes, ready to go in 3ds Max, Maya, Cinema 4D, SketchUp, Unreal Engine 4, Unity, Blender, and Rhino. Now, if you guys use the link below, you'll not only help out my channel at no extra cost to you, but you'll also get free models, totally free models that are posed, rigged, and animated. Put it in manually, come on. And let's put one in right there. Okay. Q on the keyboard. We're gonna take this guy, we're gonna W, we're gonna move it in here, like so. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in and we're gonna take this edge. Okay. Control E to extrude, and W to pull out. And let me find the right angle. That would be here. Of course, it's not that one. That would be here. Yeah, there you go. 
All right, and we're gonna go, I would say, to about here. Then we're gonna go into injured edge loop again. Let's do multiple and do seven. And then there you go, we'll put seven in there. And what I wanna do is bend this guy. So I'm gonna select it, I'm gonna go to deform. We're gonna go to nonlinear and bend. And I didn't have my object selected, so let me try that again. Nonlinear and bend. Let's see what, ah, oh, okay, sorry. Need to hit Q to get out of the edge mode thing. Um, deform, nonlinear, and bend. There you go. And then our bend handle is right there. And let's see if it's bending in the right direction. Usually it isn't, so we'll see. Oh, that's luck. Okay, so we know we're bending correctly. And uh, I need to bend it quite a bit more, uh, but I only want to uh, bend it from the top, right? So let's see how far we can get. Not too bad. I'm gonna do low bound just a little, so we can adjust that like so. Yeah, happy with that. So I'm gonna select it. I'm gonna go to edit, delete by type and history. So we get rid of that control there. Then I'm gonna hit E to rotate it. And I'm going to kind of push it like that. So the bottom part is pretty much vertical. We're gonna hit W, we're gonna move that in here. Like that. Just check it after frame. Seems to be okay. We're gonna go in here, injured edge loop. Uh, we're going to set that back to equal, we'll put one up here, Q on the keyboard, all right. Then we're going to take these two and we're going to bring them in here. So just going to hit W, and come on, and we're going to move that in a bit, like that, all right. Now, you may need to uh, adjust just a little bit. So I'm gonna hit R and I'm gonna slightly scale this guy down. All right, so now that we have that and I'm okay with this guy, what I'm gonna do is uh, take this, jump to this view, hit the insert key to move the pivot point, insert, move that pivot point, we're gonna after frame, and I want that pivot point to be right here. So we're gonna snap that. Like so. Hit the insert key again. All right, so we have one there and uh, I need a couple more. So what I'm gonna do is hit Control D to duplicate that guy. Then I'm gonna hit E to rotate and hold down J, All right? Snap it to there and then I'm gonna hit Shift D and work my way around, okay? So that will give me this guy. Now, this looks uh, pretty neat. I think it turned out okay. And then the next step is we need to have the connector pieces here at the end. Uh, first, I wanna take another uh, polygon cube and I'll explain in a minute why. So we're gonna take that out. We're gonna hit R, we're gonna scale it in like so. Uh, actually, not a cube, sorry. First, I want to take another cylinder and we're going to hit W to move it over here. Hit E to rotate, hold down J and flip it like that. Then we're going to go in here, we're going to set subdivision level to 6. And we're going to try to mimic this shape from a symmetry point of view. I would say that's pretty good. Yeah. Then we're gonna scale the whole thing down. And we're gonna have a section in here, I would say about this size, right? Now let's check the thickness and so forth. So let's push that in. We'll hit W, we'll move that in here after frame. Okay, there you have it. Now that we have that one, we want one on the other side as well. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna select this guy and we're gonna check its position. So uh, 2550, so hit Control D to duplicate. 
move it over to minus two five five zero. There you go. And we're good.